Hey, what's up, guys? We are back at again with a brand new Giant Skeleton Evarbs clone deck to crush all of your opponents. Everyone forgot how to defend against Giant Skeleton clone because it's not been in the meta for like a year. And the best part is, no one's running poison. So if they've got Fireball and you clone up a cannon cart, a skeleton barrel with a fly machine and a Giant Skeleton, they're just going to lose their tower. And let's say they do have poison and they have a lot of splash damage. The Lee Barbarians and the Mother Witch come up exceptionally clutch. You're able to get damage with the piggies and the leap barbarians at the river and win games that you're just not supposed to. So let's go jump stray some games and assert some dominance. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you never miss out on any of the daily videos. And a massive thank you to everyone that's using creator code SIRTAG. All money goes directly back into the channel, making our memes and dreams the best they can be. Hey, so jumping right into this game, we're going to figure out what our opponent's got before we dish out any big units. We can't drop our giant skeleton in the back because a lot of times if you drop that too early and your opponent rushes off his inside, you just lose the game. Imagine if he lumberjack balloons on me. I can't can't deal with that right now. So he's going to go for Royal Ghost. It'll probably be a Pekka deck. Most of the time they're going to end up having poison or fireball with it instead of having lightning. But sometimes you see Ram Rider lightning. It's not that often, but it does occur. So I'm going to go in for a Mother Witch here. Sauce out some value. Oh, let's go. Let's get that. He's going to go and pull the piggies instead of pulling the giant skeleton. This is phenomenal. And then we drop our Leap Barbarians there so he doesn't even pull the giant skeleton. The bomb goes kaboom. He loses absolutely everything at the river, and he hasn't even seen the clone yet. This is where our final form is unleashed. Let's go, baby. Clone it all up. There is no way you're able to stop that. It's literally not possible. All the skeletons coming at him, he's going to be able to go in for a Mother Witch and get a lot of piggies coming at us. But at the same time, they're clone piggies, so they immediately die. If you guys didn't know that, if your opponent targets a cloned unit with the Mother Witch and he turns it into a piggy, it becomes a cloned piggy that only takes one hit to finish off. Phenomenal stuff. It's a, kind of a nerf to Mother Witch, you know? You would expect the Mother Witch to be able to, you know, convert those cloned units into something of substance, but she's just not able to. So we're going to hit him up with another Mother Witch because that's what fun is in this game. Dropping as many Mother Witches as possible. And we've got four piggies from that. It's literally rail hogs out of bats. It's the only thing that Clash Royale has never experienced before. Your opponent dropping a unit, and then you get more value than that unit is worth. I can't believe that the Mother Witch is that much of a magician. So, definitely want to follow up with the Furnace here. I think he's going to all in. Ooh, this is really scary. I knew he was going to all in me. I felt it coming in the air tonight. Does he have Fireball, though? Oh, the bats. The bats need to get targeted by the flying machine. The bats need to get targeted by the flying machine. Thank you. Thank you so much. If only I could clone my tower, guys. The flying machine, the zero HP hero, let's go. Oh my gosh, few things excite me like that in Clash Royale. With 45 seconds remaining, can we hold the door? Oh my goodness, this is gonna be a close one. I feel it already. So I want a Mother Witch here. I need to be able to get some piggies. We need some piggy potential up in here. Okay, we can giant skeleton, so we pull the real ghost. He's gonna EQ and he's gonna waste it. He's gonna squander that opportunity. I believe that we can make this happen. So. Let's do this, leap barbarians, and then just straight up clone everything here. Oh no, I have to clone first. I have to clone quick. We need to get more value. Come on, skeletons, don't fail me now. 15 seconds remaining, all we need to do is hold the door. If we sacrifice the cannon cart to the rail ghost, it's gonna be giving us two buildings right now. So when he drops like a rail giant, it would go right into the cannon cart, and then it would go into the furnace and he wouldn't be able to break through in time. This deck is utterly brilliant, and it's shocking all of our opponents today. GG, well played, and peace out, buddy. Or maybe this guy will be running P.E.K.K.A. Who knows? So Giant Skeleton is not going to be aligned with the Magic Archer, so we don't have to face the full fury of geometry. And I believe. Oh, wow. I don't know if I believe anymore. I don't know what I'm playing against. This seems to be a lot of splash damage. But I hypothetically could go for Leap Barbarians and just follow up with a massive amount of value in the right-hand lane. So I'm going to clone this up so we can get double Skeleton Barrel Sauce. This is going to be sublime. The Skeletons are just going to finish everything off he has to log oh if only he didn't have log if only he had a different spell he's already laughing right now he's like jake you're the only person in clash trial that's running clone everyone's running fireball and i have no answers to you so this is looking really promising if the flying machine's able to lock onto the tower who are you you no not me you yes i am you just answer the damn questions who are you i have told you but it locks onto his flying machine instead dude what are you doing why do you have Flying Machine with a Bowler, a Dark Prince, and then just the weirdest composition that I've ever seen? So we need to go in for Fire Spirits on the right-hand side to cheekily get that chip damage. 
I don't think it's going to connect. I believe I can fly. I believe I can... Ooh. Whenever you think that the Fire Spirit's not able to connect, it always finds a way. That was majestic. The Magic Archer couldn't even touch it. Even Harry Houdini could not escape from the Fire Spirit. So, Fire Spirit's going to connect to the Bowler, too. That's what we like to see, baby. Oh my goodness. Imagine the Bowler dying or just going to the other side, and then the Fire Spirit just takes out his tower. This is hilarious. It should never work this way, Clash Royale. I hope that you're watching this video, and then you nerf Fire Spirits because of this. I want to be the reason that you nerf the Furnace. <laughs> so... I'm going to go in for the giant skeleton. He's laughing right now, but you know he's crying on the inside. Every single time you see that emote, the e is actually shedding tears. So maybe we're able to shed this man's tower down too. I think that we go in for a skeleton barrel here and then just clone up the giant skeleton so then we get the double the death bomb kaboom. Come on, go kaboom already. Yeah, no one wants to see those barbarians anyway. We only want to see the elitist of barbarians. So I can Kanekar off to the side again. I feel like this is a super promising situation for me. Every single time that you see your opponent try to catapult units right into a furnace, especially when they're bait cards, it doesn't necessarily work out very well. Oh that. my goodness. I should have went for a skeleton barrel on the right hand side because I think the bowler would be preoccupied. I did done goof, but I don't think it's going to be that bad. I don't think it's going to be that bad at all. I can giant skeleton again in the back and start to defend his massive amount of parade push that he's about to throw down in the left hand lane. I feel it. Where are the real hogs to go and try to pull the giant skeleton? There they are. I felt it, man. I knew it. As long as the magic archer just doesn't connect to the mother witch, we're vibing. Especially when we're able to get all that value with the mother witch not even dying. Holy crap, he missed the fireball. He got so no. greedy. And somehow he missed everything. I, I haven't seen that before in my life. That was really interesting. So we're going to get through with a skeleton barrel here. I don't think he's going to be able to stop this. Maybe he's able to fireball, but then he doesn't have anything for the leaf barbarian. So he had to pick. I was like, dude, do you want to fireball on top of the skeleton barrel and the fly machine and lose the game that way? Or do you want to fireball on the leap barbarians? And he's just like, dude, I'm not going to do anything. I don't even know what to do anymore. He was the most indecisive sir ever. So jumping into this game where I sauce out of good luck and immediately dish out a furnace. So whenever we get this start, I'm feeling pretty good about myself. Oh, that's nice. Furnace is the best card that you can cycle at the start because you consistently get value from it. And I'm ready to roll right through with the Skeleton Barrel in the right-hand lane. So we're going to sacrifice the Furnace right now. Cowards do that and that ain't you! We got damage on the tower already. And then we can go for a Mother Witch to get perpetual piggies up in here too. So looking like it's going to be an Electro Giant deck, which is not the good matchup for us in Double Elixir. So we want to win this in single if possible. You're going to have Inferno Dragon and you're going to end up having Fireball. Ooh, maybe it's not Electro Giant because most of the time they're going to end up having a different variation of that. Oh, is it going to lock onto the piggy? Wait, we can go and push the giant skeleton with the clone. That's awesome. Let's go, baby. That's exactly what I'm talking about. So sometimes your opponent's just not going to understand why that's a thing, but it is a thing. <laughs> I really love this game for that reason. You can miraculously get damage with a giant skeleton just by pushing it with its cloned brother from another mother. So his tower is still alive. Help me! Help me! And I don't know what his win condition is. So I could still lose this game if it is Electro Giant. So I have to buckle up and try to beat down in the tower. Also, I have no direct damage with this deck. He doesn't know that yet. But this could also be a little bit scary. Uh, so for obvious reasons, this, this game is just not over until it's over. I need to go in for a Mother Witch here because it is for Elixir. I believe that's going to be our best bet of getting value against the Piggies. Or the Goblins, sorry. Because now we're going to get Piggies to tank for everything and we get Piggy Counter Push as well. So it isn't phenomenal, but we'll take what we can get. You guys are already going to say, how the heck do you ever beat a Goblin Drill deck with this, Jake? We're showing you how to win against it right now. You use the power of the Giant Skeleton Clone and you walk away with wins. So I'm going to Skeleton Barrel here just because I want to make sure that the Inferno Dragon doesn't stay alive. we got to finish that thing off with the Big Mama Witch. So if we're able to make that work, it feels fantastic. We're also going to follow up with the Furnace on the left-hand side. And... Ooh. Ooh, okay. All right. I see you, man. You're really just going to keep doing that. 24-7, 365. So I think we have to do this. I don't love this, but this is really the only play that I can actually do and feel good about. 
Because if the cannon cart tanks, then we're not taking damage from the Dark Prince. We're not taking damage from the Bandit. We're not taking damage from all that stuff that would just disastrously destroy my tower. With Fireball as well for the Mother Witch, we have to hold on for dear life. I'm clinging on right now, guys. I think we can still make it happen. So we're going to go for a Furnace here. And then he's going to Fireball for sure, but... Wait, why would he drop it in that spot of all places? He just activated Key Tower. What is he doing? The Madman! Wow, I think we tilted a Goblin Drill player. Very rarely do you do that, but we got him to spiral down out of chaos. <laughs> it's just like, what am I supposed to do? Elite Barbarian's clone is hilarious to see on the map. Have you guys ever seen that before in a real game? Like, you know, top 10,000 gameplay, just casually cloning up Elite Barbarians. I gotta be honest, when I started playing this deck, I really didn't expect it to work, but it is surprisingly solid. We already pushed up a ton of trophies. To jump into this one, this guy is Sword, and he's already got the Swords Dance Clan, so he's powering it up, guys. He's a Pokemon, and I think he's gonna get real aggressive fast. But the good thing is, he just dropped a Zap. I could be an absolute idiot and go in for a Cannon Cart and then clone it with the Skeleton Barrel, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm going to restrain myself for a split second and go for the giant skeleton in the back. This is the tame version of the deck, okay, guys? He's dropped his sword dance. So is he going to go level up his aggression with a balloon? Oh my gosh, he just dropped a Valkyrie. I think in some situations, people would go in for a cannon cart here and then clone. Other people might go in for elite barbarians at the river. I wonder what is better. I think cloning is slightly better because we're going to be able to finish off the miner and have all this crap still come at him. I don't know if he's able to defend this. He's going to zap, and he's going to go in for skeletons. So I think that the cannon cart's going to tank, so we can go in for elite barbarians and have a little bit more tank value up in here. You are not supposed to be here. I am a magician. Wow, I could not believe that he cycled back to a Valkyrie. My body was not braced for that. I did not want to showcase my elite barbarians like that. But I guess it still worked out. Overall, if we think about it, we bait out a minor and a Valkyrie. That's seven elixir on defense against a six elixir investment on offense on our end. The way that Clash Royale is supposed to work is you defend your opponent's units, you get counter push, and you also get a juicy elixir trade on defense. But this guy, he's been rattling off nothing but negative trades all day, every day, and he's not getting any counter push because he's dropping like a bomb tower on defense. So <laughs> this is looking really good for me. The only thing that is difficult is the fact that he's probably going to be running a balloon deck, and I don't really want to go catapult my furnace right now and then find out, oh, there's a balloon on the other side. Why is he zapping again? Ooh, this could be really funny. Like, imagine a situation where we Furnace, we get Fire Spirit chip damage on the right-hand side, more so than we would with the Cannon Cart. So we're going to split up our aggression. I, I know you guys might think I'm an idiot, seeing Fire Spirit as our win condition right now, but that might be our win condition. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Look at the Furnace, guys. Look at all the value. We are already up in this game simply because of that one card. Isn't it toxic? Isn't it hilarious and fun? I am loving it. So we can Fly Machine in the middle. It's going to be able to finish off all of that. Oh my goodness, he literally just tornado. I don't think he can do that. I don't think he's allowed to do that. We're able to go in for one of these, where we just clone this up. Maybe he misses the zap, or if he doesn't, he's still going to take damage from the skeletons. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. Wait, wait, piggy value, piggy value, piggy value. Let's go. Let's pog him. He's going to miner for sure. It's going to lock onto the cannon cart. Maybe it kills the cannon cart, so then it bought... Yes! That was a next level play. That was literally the best interaction that I could have ever had in my life. Did you guys see that or was that a figment of my imagination? There's no one who will ever believe you. Using the cannon card. So then the miner killed it. And then it pulled everything back. That was beautiful. That was the only way to survive and keep our tower alive. So I don't think he's got tornado for a bit. So let's do this. Maybe the double fly machine will deliver the dominance. Oh, why is it locking on that of all things? Okay. All right, I can just cannon card again because it worked out so wonderfully for me last time. And then we can go in for one of these. And a very high furnace. See that the furnace still pulls? And then it's going to go to the cannon card afterward. Look at this. Watch the cannon card saving our butt 24-7, 365. Ooh. You guys are probably wondering, how the heck do you beat Balloon? This is how you beat Balloon. This is how you do it. So I think we go in for one of these again. I just need to. I need to get more flying machine value. It's the only way that I can consistently get damage on the tower. And look at that value. It's preposterous that we're actually winning this game. So I need the cannon card again. And I also want to go in for a furnace to go and pull that back up. I hope that it kills the cannon card. 
And then it, oh, it did not kill the Canacar. Oh, it did kill the Canacar, thankfully. I was like, if it doesn't kill the Canacar, I'm just gonna take too much damage. So you guys are noticing what our strategy here is. Kill the Canacar, kill our own unit. <laughs> it's pretty dumb, but that's the way that the world works now. This is what you need to do to win games. Wait, the Valkyrie's gonna straight up die. If the Valkyrie just straight up dies. We can do one of these and then clone this all up. Oh, that could have been so nice if I just waited a split second, but I'm an idiot. Wait, wait. Valkyrie, just kill this, please. Valkyrie, just listen to me. Kill the cannon cart. Kill the cannon cart. Thank you. Wait, I think he's going to have a tank for this now, though. No! How much damage am I about to take? How much damage am I about to take? Okay, so we got to go for this. Follow up with one of these. And essentially all in and pray. I don't think it's going to work, but we tried our absolute hardest, guys. There's no way. <laughs> GG and well played. So as you guys can see, if they have Tornado Executioner with Zap, sometimes you're gonna lose the game, but that was a really close one. Whenever we lose, we always bounce back. If it takes that much of a hard counter to beat us, I don't know what regular decks beat this. Snake, are you okay? Snake? Snake? Hey, so jumping into this one, I thought that he was gonna be small, like kind of small, but slang. You know, he's just a smock. I've never seen that word before. I don't know what it is, but we'll see what he's going to be throwing down today. I wonder if the Tesla pulls. It doesn't. Oh, if I was better, I think I would have cloned that. If I was a more aggressive, big Larry skeleton player, I would have went in for the juiciest, most sublime clone. But usually when I do that, I just get logged and I feel like an idiot. So I just decided not to. All right, so I can go in for a Elite Barbarians play. Because if you think about it, his knight is gonna be out of cycle for a while. He might not have great distractions if he spends it on the giant skeleton here, and the Tesla is about to expire. Or, alternatively, we wait for him to spam at the river, and then we get phenomenal counter push. I think that might be slightly better. Dude, what are you doing? I don't know. So that's gonna go in target on top of the furnace. Why? Why do you have rocket? Do we have a pallet? Huh? What is it? What is this deck? Logbait is his clan. So I guess I should have just, you know, assumed that he was going to have Logbait. But I'm so a nerd to our opponents not running the deck that they're supposed to be playing in their clan name. And then I saw like Knight and Musketeer. I'm just like, there's no way that this man has a rocket, right? He had rocket. He was trying to deceive me. And then he just, he flipped the script completely in the last possible second. It was pretty rude, not going to lie. So I'm going to go for a clone here. I think that we're gonna be able to get double skeleton barrel up in here on top of the musketeer to finish it off. Get a little bit of extra tankage for the fly machine so they're able to stay alive longer and get extra value from the Tesla. I like how this looks, but I don't like what I'm playing against right now. <laughs> so I don't know if you guys are picking up what I'm putting down. I like it and I hate it at the same time. The fact that he's got rocket makes me scared and petrified from the fact that he could also have a tornado and log. And I don't like playing against that ever, so. A little bit scared, but we're going to build up a massive giant skeleton push in the back. I got this. So we're going to start it off real strong. Maybe go in for a cannon and also leap our barons. There's multiple different things I can do here. I think our best course of action is to go for the Mother Witch and then leap our barons in this lane, make him rocket it. And then, oh, oh, okay. All right, I see you not rocketing me right now. Okay. Is the Musketeer going to lock into that? Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, boy. What we like. This is exactly what we needed in life. If the Musketeer dies with minimal amount of damage on that tower, I think we can just start to stack furnaces and then go in for a flying machine to catapult more elixir on top of the Tesla. These are our strategies and complete plans coming to fruition. So I believe that this is gonna work out. I mean, the cannon cart's gonna stay alive. The giant skeleton, maybe? No, it's not gonna be able to shut down the Musketeer this time. That was very bad. That was an unfortunate Sally. Wait, I think we can still do this. And Elite Barbarian's here. Because he doesn't have Fireball, so it's really difficult for him to deal with Fly Machine. So if the Fly Machine stays alive, I think we can procure some incredible value. In fact, I'm going to go for another Furnace. The Fly Machine's alive. I think he might rocket the Furnace. I really, 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 really hope he rockets the Furnace. Come on, dude, that was Prime Real Estate. You have to rocket the Furnace. He's going to rocket the Cannon Cart right now. Uh, or no? Uh, I'm so confused. I would expect a rocket somewhere, but look at the poor Musketeer never able to finish off a single Fire Spirit. I feel like that's a little bit pathetic and funny at the same time. 
So we're gonna go in for our fly machine. Definitely wanna go and clone this up. I'm not able to go and hit the fly machine, but I was able to hit the Mother Witch, so maybe we're able to curse some extra stuff here. Maybe we're able to curse our opponent. Elite Barbarians, I choose you. Skeleton Barrel as well. Oh, the fly machine locks onto the tower, and he is utterly disappointed in himself. That's what we love about this game. When the fly machine just goes ninja mode, and it locks onto the tower for no good reason, you're just like, yes, this is what we cherish in life. These are the moments. So Skeleton Barrel, I choose you. Maybe we can go for another fly machine down the middle. I think with everything spread out, it's going to be very difficult for our opponent to defend. He's going to lose most of his stuff here. The Leaf Barbarian is going to be tanking. And, oh wait, the Cannon Cart. It literally locks onto the Musketeer. And then the Skeletons die, but we're not going to be able to get any... Wait, why is he rocking? Look at this dude. He, he could have rocketed the Mother Witch. <laughs> he done goofed again. This is our moment. This is our time. This is our calling. This is my opportunity to shine, especially with him missing that log. What is going on right now? I love it. Our parade push is coming to fruition, guys. Our plans completely calculated, as you guys can see. The pure skill of the skeleton barrel, the skill barrel, if you will, is barreling through with the dominance. I think that we're able to just keep mother witching here and apply the aggression to the point that he's not able to rock it. Like, presume that this man's able to rock it, we will lose the game if he just rocket cycles. But if he isn't able to afford the elixir to do that, he's gonna lose. Wait, he's just gonna lose anyway? No way. We're just gonna win by spamming stuff. Resistance is futile, this deck is disgusting, and we are asserting dominance. Furnace clone feels absolutely unstoppable. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and have an awesome rest of your day.